make a statement. Gonna learn the consequence. It's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Episode 39. This is WWE Main Event. We are coming to you from the heart of Raleigh, North Carolina. And as we inch closer and closer to August the 7th, our next Universe Mode Pay-Per-View Extreme Rules, we make a pit stop here tonight. And coming up in your main event this evening, one of the members of the WWE Championship match at Extreme Rules, the phenomenal AJ Styles, goes one-on-one -on -one with the man who will take on Drew McIntyre in a no-holds-barred match on pay-per-view, that being the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. AJ Styles, Sheamus, the phenomenal one versus the Celtic Warrior, a big-time main event coming up later this evening, but we kick things off tonight with the WWE Cruiserweight Champion of the World, the one, the only, Ricochet. This man has been riding a high for several weeks. He won that championship back at SummerSlam and he's looking to continue his momentum right here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion. Ricochet has been unstoppable as of late. In the lead up to SummerSlam, he won that Cruiserweight Championship Eliminator Tournament. He then moved on to our last Universe Mode pay-per-view SummerSlam in Phoenix, Arizona, where he was the run to dethrone Santos Escobar and become the new Cruiserweight Champion. And remember the last time out we saw the one and only inside of this ring was a couple of weeks ago right here on Main Event, where Ricochet teamed up with Isaiah Swerve Scott and the returning Hurricane as those three men defeated Legado del Fantasma, Joaquin Wilde, Raul Mendoza, and Santos Escobar on that night. But as for tonight here in Raleigh, the Cruiserweight Champion of the World has his hands full with one of the best junior heavyweights in the world, Kushida. With a big opportunity here, a victory for him could absolutely put him in line for a future Cruiserweight Championship opportunity. This is going to be a great matchup to kick us off. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan. Weighing in at 192 pounds, Kushida! And as Kushida gets set for this matchup, we want to inform all of you that the next time the Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line is coming up on August the 7th at Extreme Rules, where Ricochet will defend in a three-man ladder matchup against Santos Escobar and Isaiah Swerve Scott. What a huge triple threat matchup that is going to be. Santos Escobar getting his rematch. And Isaiah Swerve Scott, who was on the winning side of things a couple of weeks ago, and that six-man tag match we just mentioned, getting a huge opportunity as well. All three men going to be in the ring at the same time. It's a triangle ladder match coming up in Seattle, Washington on Sunday night, August the 7th, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. The Cruiserweight Championship is going to be on the line. What a huge matchup that is going to be. We are kicking things off tonight with the champion himself, Ricochet, one-on-one -on -one with Kushida. Which should be a great night of action here on WWE Main Event. And as we mentioned still to come tonight in our Main Event Contest, the phenomenal AJ Styles goes one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. And both of those men have big-time matches coming up at the Extreme Rules Pay-Per-View. As Ricochet off the springboard, going into the cover, but Kushida gets the shoulder up. On one hand, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus coming up at Extreme Rules. Has a no-holds-barred match set with the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. Those two men with a huge score to settle. Sheamus blames Drew McIntyre for the reason he is no longer the Intercontinental Champion. Of course, Drew McIntyre is the one pinned in that triple threat contest along with Pete Dunne at SummerSlam. Pete Dunne now, your Intercontinental Champion. Sheamus, of course, wants back his Intercontinental gold, but first wants to get retribution on Drew McIntyre. Those two men gonna collide in that no holds barred encounter coming up on August 7th. And then, of course, as for AJ Styles, he is going to be one of five superstars competing for the WWE Championship in a five-man elimination challenge. For the WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar Edge, the man who dethroned AJ Styles for the gold at SummerSlam, is going to be making his first defense in this reign against AJ Styles, Austin Theory, Mustafa Ali, and, of course, the franchise, John Cena. What a huge main event matchup that is going to be coming up on August the 7th as Ricochet there, using his strength to his advantage. German suplex into the bridge, not able to put Kushida away just yet. The great offense there. 
for the man they call the one and only. And as we were talking about earlier, Ricochet has been on quite the roll over the last month or so. He went through two rounds of that Cruiserweight Championship Eliminator to become the number one contender for Santos Escobar. He then moved on to SummerSlam. In a hard-fought matchup against Escobar, and was able to dethrone the man who had held that championship for several months. And then, of course, as we mentioned the last time we saw Ricochet in action, alongside one of his opponents now for Extreme Rules, Isaiah Swerve Scott, and the returning Hurricane Helms, as those three men took on Legado del Fantasma. And that's really what leads us to that Cruiserweight Championship match coming up at Extreme Rules. Santos Escobar going to be getting his rematch. He held the championship for several months, was dominant over the Cruiserweight division. Now we'll get his chance to get back the championship from Ricochet. On the other hand, Isaiah Swerve Scott earning that opportunity when he was alongside Ricochet in that six-man tag team matchup, as we mentioned. A lot of riding on that Cruiserweight Championship affair coming up in Seattle, Washington on August the 7th. And I cannot imagine with those three men, Ricochet, the Swerve, Escobar, what those three men are going to do when you add ladders into the mix. I cannot wait to get to our next Universe Mode pay-per-view. Several other matches signed for that event and more to come. Of course, we know the Intercontinental Championship is going to be on the line coming up on August the 7th. As the new champion, the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, makes his second defense in this title reign thus far against the Prince Finn Balor. Of course, Pete Dunne already retaining that championship on the Raw after SummerSlam against the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Both the Pete Dunne and Finn Balor have been on a roll as of late. But something's got to give between those two men when the gold's on the line coming up in Seattle. Well, look at this. Ricochet, nice maneuver there. Springboard drop kicks takes his sheet off his feet. Ricochet is looking good. Look at this springboard shooting star pressed to the outside. And now Ricochet firmly in the driver's seat of this contest. This has been back and forth for the majority of this contest. Ricochet going for the core screw there, but Kushida sidestepping it. Got out of the way earlier, does it again. Kushida's got that move scouted here. And that misstep from the Cruiserweight Champion has now lended the momentum back to his opponent here tonight. Great matchup to kick us off this far. The Cruiserweight style contest between the champion as well as Kushida. Kushida world traveled, one of New Japan Pro Wrestling's best for several years. Pinned as one of the best junior heavyweights in the world. Has been on a collision course since coming to WWE, but yet to really prove himself in a match like this. Could absolutely do that for Kushida. As Ricochet's days, Kushida, what a punt kick! Down the 50-yard line. That's a field goal if I ever saw one. Ricochet may be knocked out cold. Kushida all over the champion here. Grab it a hold. Submission hold locked in. And Ricochet, he taps out here. Talk about derailing the momentum of the Cruiserweight champion. And Ricochet able to battle back. But Kushida really doing a number on the champion there. We talked about it already tonight, but a win for Kushida. Just absolutely put him in line for a Cruiserweight Championship matchup. Now following the Extreme Rules pay-per-view, but Ricochet trying to get the momentum back in this contest. Mood salt by the champion. Into the cover on Kushida. Ricochet's looking good. Kushida gets the shoulder up. And what a great Cruiserweight matchup. Back and forth we go here. These men are really starting to pull out the big maneuvers, pull out all the stops in this contest. But Ricochet is about keeping his momentum going, especially now that he knows his next date inside that ring. August the 7th, Extreme Rules. And for Kushida, we mentioned it before, we'll mention it again. A possible championship opportunity in the future for that man if he can beat the champion here tonight. And it really doesn't matter who walks out of Extreme Rules for Kushida. It could be Ricochet, could be the Swerve, could be Escobar. A win for the champion, or excuse me, a win for the challenger here. And absolutely put Kushida in line for a future title match regardless of the champion. Back on the outside, of these two men have been several times throughout this contest. Ricochet, though, in control. Springboard here, goes for the cross body, but Kushida was able to get out of the way. And that's really been Ricochet's a detriment to him throughout this contest is not being able to hit all those high-flying maneuvers. Kushida has clearly done his homework on the Cruiserweight Champion Ricochet here tonight. And Ricochet right there has that move scouted. And now grabbing a hold after Kushida misses the mood salt. And we saw him use that maneuver, that cradle shock maneuver to Santos Escobar and so many others recently. 
One of the maneuvers that has helped Ricochet gain the Cruiserweight Championship. It doesn't put Kushida away yet. It's certainly going to do damage to Ricochet's opponent here tonight. He's sending him off. Nice kick. Going to do some damage there. And the Hangman's Neckbreaker by the Cruiserweight Champion. And Ricochet is heading up top. Kushida could be down and out. Ricochet goes for the Phoenix Splash. But Kushida gets the knees up. And momentum shifts back to Kushida here tonight. And Ricochet may be in deep trouble. That's yet another maneuver in this contest. A high-flying maneuver, mind you, that has not landed for the Cruiserweight Champion. And Kushida into the cover here. Looking to pick up the victory on Ricochet. But Ricochet gets the shoulder up. And these two men putting on a showcase for Raleigh, North Carolina here tonight. And Ricochet were... Getting close to August 7th to the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. And now that we know he's going to be defending the championship on that card, he does not want to risk injury going in the deep waters of this contest here. Kushida's down. The Cruiserweight champion back in control of this contest. Kushida's looking dazed. Ricochet dropping him with the DDT. Simple but effective maneuver. Which I think is important for Ricochet. Deep in this contest and now a knee. Recall knee to Kushida. And the finishing maneuver for the one and only gets the job done here tonight on main event. Kushida putting up a hell of a fight. Clearly did his homework on the Cruiserweight Champion before this contest. Really had a lot of the one and only Ricochet's maneuver scouted. But in the end, the Cruiserweight Champion continues to ride that wave of momentum. And he's looking to ride it all the way into Seattle, Washington on August the 7th at Extreme Rules. The next time we see that man in the ring, it'll be across from the swerve and Escobar with ladders in the play. Will the one and only Ricochet still be the Cruiserweight Champion on August the 7th, live on Pay-Per-View? We are back inside the confines of Raleigh, North Carolina. Main event rolling on. And the recently returned Dolph Ziggler is in action once again here tonight. We're going to keep things going in the W column. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, Florida. Weighing in at 218 pounds. Dolph. Well, the former multiple-time champion here in the WWE, a decorated career thus far for Dolph Ziggler, made his return on Monday Night Raw, specifically the Raw after SummerSlam, where he defeated one of his friends in this business, John Morrison. But Dolph Ziggler's been back in action, looking to get his hand raised once again and looking to gain some championship opportunities for the show-off. A former Intercontinental United States Tag Team Champion, Mr. Money in the Bank, World Heavyweight Champion, most recently NXT Champion. Dolph Ziggler's got a lot of accolades. But right here, right now, it's about getting the hand raised. And his challenge here tonight is a former champion in his own right. That man is Apollo Crews. And his opponent from Bidway State, Nigeria. Weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews! We talk a lot about here in the WWE how wins are the most important and how it's extremely important to build momentum in regards to future championship opportunities, making more money in the WWE. But as for Apollo Crews, things have not been going his way the last number of months. It's been quite some time since we've seen Apollo Crews get his hand raised inside the ring. The last time we saw him, 
It was prior to SummerSlam where he took a loss to the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy. So Apollo Crews once again in action here tonight. This time the test is Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler's coming off again that win in his return against John Morrison a couple of weeks ago. Apollo Crews is coming off several losses the last couple of months. Will tonight be the night that Apollo Crews breaks up that bad luck? Or will he just be another stepping stone for Dolph Ziggler and his return here to the WWE? Only time will tell as we get this match underway here tonight in Raleigh, North Carolina on WWE Main Event. The road to Extreme Rules making a pit stop tonight. We've already talked a lot about that pay-per-view. Dolph Ziggler coming out swinging right now. And I'm sure both of these men are going to have their eyes on that upcoming pay-per-view. Again, in regards to the championships and who those titles are going to fall. I'm sure both of these men would love to get future Intercontinental, maybe even future WWE championship matches. But it all comes with getting your hand raised inside of the ring. And speaking of championship matches, one of the matches coming up at Extreme Rules that's got a hell of a lot of writing on it is actually the WWE Women's championship contest that will see the empress of tomorrow asuka defending the gold against two former champions bianca belair as well as shotzi it's been well documented over the last couple of weeks and if you watch the SummerSlam pay-per-view then you know the events that went down shotzi in her third meeting with bianca belair the last number of months finally able to defeat the st inside the squared circle and become the new wwe women's champion but before she can even hold the gold in her hand, Mrs. Money in the Bank, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, rearing her head around the entranceway in Phoenix, Arizona. She cashed in the briefcase, went one-on-one -on -one with Shotzi, and unfortunately for Shotzi, it was all too much to handle in Phoenix on that night. Asuka walked out the new WWE Women's Champion. And after all that, it all leads to the Extreme Rules pay-per-view where both Bianca and Shotzi are going to get a chance to become women's champion once again. But Asuka's been riding a high. Misses Money in the Bank. Cashing in successfully. And Dolph Ziggler taking a fall to the outside there. Harsh landing for the show-off. But as we were mentioning, Asuka's been riding that high over the last number of weeks. She even retained the championship on the Raw after SummerSlam against Casey Catanzaro. It's going to be very interesting to see who walks out of Seattle, Washington, August the 7th at Extreme Rules with the richest prize in the business for our women, the WWE Women's Championship. One of the most storied matchups heading into that pay-per-view with those three women on the line. Let's get back to the action inside the squared circle here tonight in Raleigh. Apollo Crews trying to take advantage here. Dolph going for the German. Apollo counters it once again in this contest and using a straight there and ragdoll and Dolph Ziggler down to the canvas and Dolph looking worse for wear as Apollo Crews this is how he's going to get the win in this matchup that's using his strength to his advantage press slam and the agility from Crews with the standing moonsault and Dolph Ziggler able to squeak the shoulder off the canvas but you saw the kickouts getting a little fewer and far between for the show off in this contest. Apollo Crews is building momentum. He's got to stay on Dolph here. He can't let Dolph get back in this contest. We know Apollo Crews has all the tools to get it done inside the squared circle. He's a former United States and Intercontinental Champion in recent history the last number of years as well. But it's just these last few months that have just been plagued with bad luck for that man. But every chance he is, or every chance he gets, excuse me, to get back inside the squared circle, there's a chance to right the recent wrongs and get back in the winning ways for Apollo Crews. But Dolph Ziggler looking to make sure that Apollo Crews doesn't break his bad luck spell off his behalf. Ziggler again spent a few months down in NXT, returned to Monday Night Raw in the Raw after SummerSlam. Has been successful in that return matchup against John Morrison. This is match number two here tonight for the show off. Doesn't want to get derailed so early in his return run. Dolph taking the momentum back in this contest. Apollo looking worse for wear here. Ziggler, couple of show-off elbows there. And now going straight into the cover. And those elbows, simple and effective, enough to knock the wind out of you and crush the stardom of your opponent. And Dolph Ziggler's signature moves, and we've talked about the accolades that Dolph has acquired throughout his storied long career in the WWE. And it's because of moves like that. 
Dolph's been all over the WWE card or just throughout his entire career. He's opened the show, he's been in the main event. And of course he's stolen the show on many occasions. And as for Dolph Ziggler, it's all about starting from the bottom and working his way back up to the main event scene. And Apollo trying to take the fight to the outside yet again in this contest with Dolph Ziggler trying to make sure that again does not happen. And a nice shot to Apollo Crews there. And oh, I believe Apollo Closed fist from Dolph Ziggler. I believe Apollo Crews may have been busted wide open on that shot from the show off. And Apollo's dazed on the outside of the ring. He is down and out right now. Dolph Ziggler's got the momentum in his corner here. Dolph taking it from the apron. Sent time. What a crushed Apollo Crews ribs for good. Apollo's busted open after a move like that. He is definitely going to be down and out. If he does not mount some momentum in the next few seconds there, but there he is. Able to strike Dolph Ziggler, strike him hard, and a lay him out on the outside of the ring. Now Apollo Crews back in control of this contest here tonight on main event. And just taunting in the face of Dolph Ziggler. I don't know if you're going to want to do that. That might wake up the show off. Apollo Crews with a strike. Ziggler counters there. Ziggler with the famer, sir. Classic maneuver out of the arsenal of Dolph Ziggler there. Apollo's dazed. Ziggler with the shot. Ziggler with the zigzag. A signature maneuver for Dolph. Apollo going to be down and out. And not enough just yet. Apollo Crews, enough left in the tank to scrape the shoulder off the canvas and keep his hopes alive in this contest. Dolph Ziggler throwing some of his best tricks in this contest here tonight. Cruz is still down, but Dolph Ziggler has still got some tricks up his sleeve. Tuning up the band here. Super kick to an already bloodied Apollo Cruz. And Dolph Ziggler with the knockout blow and is able to figure out the correct puzzle to win this contest here tonight. Apollo Cruz, unfortunately for him, the bad luck continues. He gave Dolph Ziggler a little bit and all he had in this contest with Ziggler pulling down deep, pulling everything he's got. Here is your winner, Dolph Ziggler. And gets the win here tonight to continue his momentum in this return run to the WWE. Dolph Ziggler's looking good. You got to wonder what is next for the show off here. What is next on the agenda for Dolph Ziggler? Well, coming up on the big Universe Mode episode number 40, on the final Raw before Extreme Rules, the franchise, John Cena, goes one-on-one -on -one with Mustafa Ali for the first time ever. Who is going to build momentum to August the 7th? Well, we get to Seattle, and we get to this five-man elimination challenge for the WWE Championship. Edge defends against Theory, Cena, AJ Styles, and Ali. Who is going to walk out with the richest prize in the business today? The Intercontinental Championship will be on the line as well as the Bruiserweight takes on the Prince. It's challenger Finn Balor versus champion Pete Dunne. This may be a wrestling clinic for the ages when we get to Seattle, Washington on the 7th of August. WWE Tag Team Championship matchup has been signed as well. It's a SummerSlam rematch between now champions the Mysterios taking on former champions the Viking Raiders. And this rematch will be a tables matchup fitting for Extreme Rules. We found out earlier tonight that the Cruiserweight Championship is going to be on the line in a triangle ladder matchup. Ricochet defends against Santos Escobar and Isaiah Swerve Scott. The man we will see in moments in our main event has a score to settle with the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. And those two bulls are going to clash in a no holds barred matchup. Who is going to last and who is going to get their hand raised in that contest? WWE Women's Championship, Triple Threat Affair. Asuka defends the title against the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair, as well as the woman she defeated for the championship at SummerSlam, Shotzi. Something's got to give. Who is going to leave with the gold? And a match that's got a whole lot of writing on it the last number of weeks. Riddle, Randy Orton, RK Bro has gone up in flames. And those two men are going to meet with absolutely anything goes and falls count anywhere. Extreme Rules, Seattle, Washington, Sunday night, August the 7th, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel is shaping up to be yet another Universe Mode extraordinary pay-per-view. I can't wait to get 
to Seattle. But it is now time for your main event of the evening. And one of the number one contenders for the WWE Championship, the phenomenal AJ Styles is set for action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds. The phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles put on a wrestling clinic with the rated R superstar Edge at SummerSlam. AJ went in as the WWE Champion. He left Phoenix, Arizona empty-handed as Edge got the better of the phenomenal one on that night. AJ Styles is looking to regain the championship. Unfortunately for him, his way of a rematch comes in a five-man challenge with three other worthy challengers. It is gonna be a hell of a main event coming up at Extreme Rules. Five men all vying for the one goal of being the WWE Champion of the World. And it's a five-man elimination contest. That bell will not sound to end that matchup until four men have fallen, and one man is going to be the last man standing and the WWE Champion of the World. But AJ Styles' opponent tonight, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, who's looking to settle the score on August the 7th with the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. And his opponent from Dublin, Ireland, Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Sheamus held the Intercontinental Championship for the better part of two months. Unfortunately for him, that championship reign came to an end in a match that saw Sheamus not even getting his shoulders pinned to the mat. It was Pete Dunne who pinned Drew McIntyre in that triple threat matchup at SummerSlam. Sheamus wants back the Intercontinental Gold, but first he wants to take care of the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. Sheamus helped Finn Balor gain a win over Drew McIntyre a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, taking the Scottish psychopath's eye off the ball on that night. Those two men, as you just saw, are going to meet on August the 7th at Extreme Rules. There will be no holds barred, no disqualifications, no countouts, one fall to a finish between Drew McIntyre and Sheamus on that night. Huge score to be settled there as we get set for our main event contest here tonight in Raleigh. Universe Mode Episode 39. What a ride it's been since Episode number one. And coming up on Universe Mode Episode 40, the final Monday Night Raw here for the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. First time ever meeting in the main event between Mustafa Ali. And you want to talk about momentum, look no further than Mustafa Ali. That man has been riding a high for several, several weeks. Several, several months, I should say. One of the reasons that Mustafa Ali has found himself in the WWE Championship match at Extreme Rules. But coming up on Monday Night Raw, Mustafa Ali with one of his biggest matches in his career to date against the franchise player, John Cena. And John Cena just last week on main event, scoring that victory. The first man to ever defeat the Colossal Omos in a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Of course, Cena also coming off of two matchups prior to the matchup with Omos. The return, of course, at SummerSlam where he defeated all day Austin Theory. And then, of course, the night after, in the role after SummerSlam, John Cena teaming up with the Rated R Superstar Edge, able to defeat Austin Theory and Omos in tag team action on that night. Look at AJ Styles here. Coming out. Swinging in this contest, running springboard, drop kick to the outside on Sheamus. AJ Styles coming up with a fire under his ass tonight. With something to prove on the road to extreme rules. This brawl has been taken to the outside in this matchup between Sheamus and AJ Styles here. Neither man want to take a loss with extreme rules rearing its head. Both men with big time matches coming up. Nobody wants to go in on the losing side of things. Sheamus getting back to the ring. I'm sure he would not mind a count out victory here tonight, but AJ Styles still with plenty of life left in him. As we mentioned, the last time we saw AJ Styles inside of the ring was at SummerSlam where he lost the WWE Championship to now champion the rated R superstar, Edge. What a matchup it was, man. A 20 minute battle between AJ Styles and Edge. Fighting tooth and nail, truly giving everything they have in that contest. Edge was just the better man over the phenomenal one on that night. He left with the WWE Championship. 
AJ's got that opportunity to regain the championship and become the WWE Champion yet again in his career. All those men in that matchup coming up at Extreme Rules definitely have the tools to outlast the other and survive that contest and walk out of Seattle with the WWE Championship. And you gotta think, AJ Styles most likely, and I don't wanna question anybody else's motive, but it's gotta be going into that contest with the biggest fire under his ass after losing the WWE Championship at SummerSlam, now having to get his rematch in way of this five-man challenge. Regardless, all five men gonna be, I'm sure, giving it their all in that contest. Gonna be very interesting to see who's gonna be the last man standing and walking out with the gold at Extreme Rules. But Sheamus here using the power. Isn't interested in AJ Styles' current affairs. All he's interested in is picking up the victory here tonight. Proving a point to Drew McIntyre that Sheamus is dominant. Sheamus is on a roll. And Sheamus is coming to beat Drew McIntyre up in that no holds barred contest at Extreme Rules. And Sheamus here going to the second rope. Not something we see too often out of the Celtic Warrior. AJ's dazed and Sheamus with that shoulder blocked AJ Styles. We saw him. Oh, wait a minute here. The Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre is in the house here in Raleigh. Well, at least it seems, or at least. He's playing distraction to Sheamus here. Oh, wait a minute, Drew McIntyre inside the squared circle. McIntyre just cracked Sheamus over the head with the cold hard steel chair. I don't know, I think referee might have called that at the last second, but I think the referee knows the history between Sheamus and McIntyre. A little bit of referee's discretion here, letting it slide. AJ's gonna steal the victory though. Luckily for Sheamus, Sheamus scraping his shoulder up at the last second at 2.9, but McIntyre just sent an emphatic message to Sheamus. Remember, as we mentioned a few minutes ago, Sheamus got involved in that contest on Monday Night Raw recently between Finn Balor and Drew McIntyre, costing McIntyre the win on that night. And it looks like Drew looking to get a measure of revenge in the lead up to Extreme Rules, coming up from behind, using that steel chair on the Celtic Warrior here. And Sheamus might have survived, might have got his shoulder up, but AJ Styles is taking control of this contest. That's normally would have been a disqualification, but referee's discretion goes. He knows the history between McIntyre and Sheamus. He's letting it slide here tonight. He knows what's at stake in this main event. And that's big time momentum leading up to a big time pay-per-view. But Sheamus is in trouble here as this has been all AJ Styles the last minute or so since McIntyre snuck up from behind. Sheamus is down, Styles springboard, 450 splash from the Phenomenal One. Into the cover, and AJ Styles picks up the victory here tonight. And AJ Styles may have to tip a cap to Drew McIntyre. AJ may have won this match in the end, we'll really never know, but McIntyre definitely lending a hand to the Phenomenal One intentionally or not. Getting that measure of revenge on Sheamus. Cracking him over the head of the steel chair. AJ crawling in. Didn't put Sheamus away yet. But clearly the momentum shifted in the contest. 450 splash. And Sheamus' hopes of getting his hand raised tonight went up in smoke. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, the score certainly has yet to be settled between Sheamus and Drew McIntyre, but as for AJ Styles tonight, he's back in the winning ways, and he's looking sharp, heading into Extreme Rules. Thank you for joining us here tonight. We will see you on Monday Night Raw for Ali versus John Cena, Universe Mode Episode 40. Good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.